This video will focus on our custom design process for rigid packaging and how it can help companies bring new packaging to market quickly and cost effectively. My name is Wade Menier and welcome to Ching Canada's 3 Minute Innovations. In this video, we're going to focus on the steps in our custom design process at Chin Canada. The first three steps of package development at Chin Canada can happen very quickly and at no cost to our clients. Once we have a final design, then there's another three steps that happen for commercialization. The first step in package development has to start with a consultation with our clients. Here we get into detail about the, the markets that they're servicing, the, the points of differentiation for their company or their product, and um, I guess some, some potential that we hope to achieve by, by helping them deliver a customized package to the marketplace. Once we've settled on some package concepts to explore further, Chin Canada will start with the drawings. And this can happen really quickly. Usually we can uh, get a drawing returned to the client in about a, about a day or two, depending on the complexity. In the drawing package, we'll include a, a dimensional, which is, has a lot of the detail about the, about the package. But the most interesting thing that we deliver is a, is a three-dimensional drawing that can be rotated so you can see all sides of the package and you, and you can get a really good handle of what it's going to look like uh, once we turn it into a clamshell or a tray. These 3D drawings can be a great way for our clients to get some initial retailer or customer feedback too. The next step for us after we've got drawings approved and we're on the right track is we'll move to sample molds. And this also happens very quickly. Usually we can put samples in, in clients' hands within two weeks uh, we've done it as, as quickly as eight days. The package quality coming out of sample molds is almost to the same level of production mold quality in terms of form, forming, clarity, and those sorts of things. They're made out of the same materials and are often a great way to test product fit, and they're, they're fantastic for retail presentations or even trials. The samples that we make on film loaded trays, for example, can even be heat sealed for a true test. So these are the first three steps that take a, a package from an idea into a physical product that could be put into customers' hands. This whole process can come together really quickly, in as little as two weeks, for example. And again, it's at no cost to our clients. The final three steps, take that sample mold product and turn it into a commercialized package. The next step is ordering a production mold. These are much larger molds that we use on our production thermoforming equipment. The lead time to have them manufactured is, is roughly two weeks, and the cost is uh, anywhere between $2,500 and $5,000. And this is really the only upfront cost that uh, our clients cover off in the, in the package development process. The next step then is to get the, the production mold samples to our clients for a final approval and if necessary, a smaller production run for a final test. The final step would be moving into commercial shipments. And most of our business is done in a simplified way in container load quantities. But we, can, we make a whole variety of packaging, so we usually mix and match the loads and we can also ship a partial load to, uh, to one customer and bring it in with uh, some of our other products coming in. Well, I hope you found this uh, video informative and helpful. If you'd like a little bit more information on our custom design process, feel free to reach out to me at wade at chincanada.com and I've got some other contact information at the bottom of this video. Thanks for watching.